the conditions are same as in the foregoing problem except that isothermal process proceeds at maximum temperature. So this is the isothermal for the first part and this is the isothermal for the second part. So the isothermal proceeds at higher temperature and temperature varies n times. So if this is T, these two are nt. And here also if this is T, these two are nt. So now it's the rest of the process is same to find the efficiency. So I think you can just go through this and arrive at the answer yourself.